Hello and in today's video we're going to talk about the armory. Um, so this is a place where you can save initially up to two different builds and then switch between them easily at a click of a button. Um, it's expandable at a cost of increasing gems per extra slots, which I'll run into in a moment. So what I'm going to do is just show we've got three rows unlocked here on this character. I'm going to go in on a separate character. Uh, let's pick Lily Wisp. And you'll see that this character has three rows unlocked as well. I can unlock this fourth row. Um, so it's an increasing gem cost per rows. The third row costs 300 gems. The fourth is 600. And the final will set you back 900 gems. Uh, that isn't per character. That's done account wide. So... Now that I've got four rows unlocked on this character, if I switch back to uh, the original character and take a look at the armory for this one, we can see that now four rows are unlocked. So it's slightly different to how upgrades work for other characters in other parts of the game in that it is an account wide unlock. Once you've done that, it's a one off cost. Um, once they're done, they're done. So when you initially open the armory, you'll see this current preset as a top row item. So that's just showing you the gear that you're wearing. Um, if you want to save the build into one of the armory slots, just click on one uh, and then you click save and then you just give it whatever name you want, something meaningful to you. Uh, click on OK and that's done. You can change the name of it at any time. Uh, do whatever you want with it. So I can change that to there. So you can go in any time. Um, and then if you've got multiple builds, so we'll go to a character with those. We can see that uh, I am on a Death From Above build here and I've got a frost beam preset as well uh, and if I wish to change between them it's just a case of click equip and it's now using the frost beam build so if we look at the current preset we can see that I'm now equipped in frost beam gear if I switch to the death from above equip that current preset now shows that I'm wearing that and I can edit the build as well by equipping the items that I want I can go to say this frost beam build if I save now and I had the death from above gear on uh, it gives a warning do you want to overwrite and say yes and now we can see that although this says my frost beam build it's saved what was in that current preset um, so I need to switch that back to what it should be which is the Death from above uh, the frost beam build, so it's a case of equip the items, uh, equip the ability, and I can go back to the armory, my frost beam, exp farm. I can save that, and now we can see it's kept the frost beam items back as how they were. So that's how you would edit those. I think. And I think just as we saw, uh, the armory doesn't act as additional stash. So you need to keep the items for your different builds within your stash. So you're going to need space for those. Um, it will remember all the armor and skills that you are using. At the time recording, it won't remember what gemstones are socketed. So if I was to go and replace gemstones in some of this gear and then equip from here it will put in whatever gemstones are in that gear at the time that I hit equip for changing the build um, 
let's put this character on the death from above build so we can equip that um, you need to make sure that the gear is in your inventory when you try to equip it so if I go to a separate character uh, let's take this one for example if I remove the Frostfire Sash and equip that and then come back to the character that's got that as part of their build saved in the armory uh, if I now try and equip Frostbeam we see here that this has turned red the equipped item was not found in your inventory or stash if I try and equip Let's see what that's done. It's equipped without the belt because it wasn't in the stash. So what I shall do is I'll place that one. I'll keep that there for the moment. We'll go back to that original character um, here. We need to remember where we've put things. If I switch that back over, now I can switch back to Lily Wisp into the armory, Frostbeam, equip that, the item's there, so we should find that it's now equipped on. Um, I'm going to put the belt down here where that should be. Um, so again, I can switch to my Death From Above and we have everything swapped back as it should be. I think the final thing I want to show, if you're in a trial, um, you're not allowed normally to change build or gear whilst in a trial. Just put a portal here. So if I was in here, I can't change any abilities. So I can't switch to Frostbeam here. And similarly, if I go through the portal from the trial and I go to the armory, um, and I say, oh, actually, I wanted the Frostbeam build, it confirms you can't equip or change your build during a trial. So that's been thought of as well. Um, so I think that covers everything I wanted to put into this video. If you've got any questions or comments outstanding after this, feel free to put them in the comments section down below and I'll answer you there. Thank you very much for watching.